O Lord, open our lips, and we will proclaim your praise. Lord, thou shalt early hear my voice. I early will direct my prayer to thee, and looking up, an answer will expect. For thou art not a God that doth in wickedness delight, nor shall evil dwell with thee, nor fools stand in thy sight. But I into thy house will come, in thine abundant grace, and I will worship in thy fear toward thy holy place. Let all that trust in thee be glad, with joy lift up their voice, because thou savest them, let all that love thy name rejoice. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Now let's turn to the scriptures to Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, nor stand in the way that sinners take, nor sit in the company of muckers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked, they are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Lord, we pray that we will not be blown away like chaff, but will be rooted in your spirit and fed by you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ecclesiastes and chapter 1. The words of the teacher, the son of David, king of Jerusalem. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. What do people gain from their labours at which they toil under the sun? Generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets and are his back to where he rises. The wind blows to the south and turns to the north, round and round it goes, ever returning on its course. All streams flow into the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the place the streams come from, there they return again. All things are wearisome more than one can say. The eye never has enough of seeing, nor the ear its fill of hearing, and what has been will be again, and what has been done will be done again. There's nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which one can say, look, this is something new. It was here already, long ago. It was here before our time. No one remembers the former generations, and even those yet to come will not be remembered by those who follow them. I, the teacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem. I applied my mind to study and to explore by wisdom all that is done under the heavens. What a heavy burden God has laid on mankind. I have seen all the things that are done under the sun. All of them are meaningless, a chasing after the wind. What is crooked cannot be straightened. What is lacking cannot be counted. I said to myself, look, I have increased in wisdom more than anyone who has ruled over Jerusalem before me. I have experienced much of wisdom and knowledge. Then I applied myself to the understanding of wisdom and also of madness and folly. But I learned that this too is, like, is chasing after the wind. For with much wisdom comes much sorrow. The more knowledge, the more grief. Wow. Lord, when people are looking for a purpose for living, we thank you that in our generation we have one. Generations come and generations go, and the world continues to turn. Lord, we pray that we will be faithful in our generation, that, Lord, we will find our meaning and our purpose in you, in remembering our Creator in the days of our youth. Jesus speaking says in Matthew 23, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build tombs for the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part 
with them in the shedding of the blood of the prophets. So you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Go ahead then and complete what your ancestors started. You snakes, you brood of vipers, how long will you escape being condemned to hell? Therefore I am sending you prophets and sages and teachers, some of whom you will kill and crucify, others you will flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town. And so upon you will come all the righteous blood that has been shed on the earth, from the righteous blood of Abel to the blood of Zachariah, son of Barakah, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. Truly I tell you, all this will come upon this generation. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How often I have longed to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. But you are not willing. Look, your house is left to you desolate, for I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our Father, we thank you for the example that you give us in your word of the way that you dealt with your ancient people, the people of Israel. How you send prophets to them time and time again, calling them back to you until in the end they were sent into exile and then you restored them again. And in these last days you sent your son who came to the people and you longed to gather them together. Lord, we pray that we will learn from that example and will respond to your gracious calling and be gathered uh, to you and find protection under your wings. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we lift up this day and we pray, Lord, that you will help us, Lord, in this day to be faithful unto you. Lord, to serve you in all our ways and to be obedient in all that you command us to do. Lord, we lift up, especially today, our members of Parliament and those who make rules and laws for us. Lord, we pray especially for the upcoming discussions about a bill uh, to allow people to terminate their lives. Lord, we pray that you will give wisdom and counsel to those who draft that bill that, Lord, it will be a righteous act. Lord, we pray that you will guide our lawmakers uh, to make sure there are protections for those who are uh, vulnerable. So, Lord, we pray for wisdom for this, uh, this act. And, Lord, uh, we believe that our times are held in your hands, that you determine the start and the end of our life. And, Lord, we pray that we will, as Christians, bear witness to that. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you that you have called your people to be faithful in all of the world. We pray that this day will find us faithfully serving you in Jesus' name. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.